Good morning everyone. I am Regine Lee Machepe, student from Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences. Today, I am here in front of you to share my knowledge, understanding, and things I have learned from this module. To be specific, it's about Renaissance period. To start with, the Renaissance was a vigorous period of European culture, artistic, political, and economic rebirth following the Middle Ages. The Renaissance, which lasted from the 14th to 17th century, was characterized by the rediscovery of classical philosophy, literature, and arts. The Renaissance, as a unified historical period, ended with the fall of Rome in 1527. The Renaissance was the time of rebirth and expansion of religious interpretation, scientific discoveries, exploration of new lands, and the flourishing of the arts. It promoted and valued the medieval era before it in favor of new and brighter era that would draw an inspiration from the Greek and Roman traditions. The Renaissance took place primarily in Italy. It was a complete shift and placed a high-value knowledge and personal responsibility. This era produced innovative thinkers such as Nicolas Copernicus, Desiderius Erasmus, and the Renaissance such as Michael Angelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci that became some of the most recognizable and well-known and loved artists in the world. These artists were sort of focus on doing things for the good of society lead partly by rich visionaries who, who could found the operations. The art during this time is known for its realistic scenery, linear perspective, and its innovative lights and dark shadowing. Some of the examples of Renaissance painting is the Coronation of the Virgin by Angelo Gates. The Holy Trinity by Mochatru. The church has an important role during Renaissance period. The Renaissance is a highly regarded in modern society. We think we're paying homage to the Renaissance by touring its major locations, memorizing dates, and collecting essential work, but isn't actually about it. It's not about looking our at the world through our eyes, but about looking at the world through their eyes. With the guidance of these geniuses, we should invade or to spark a renaissance in our own culture. We need to use art and humanities to make our lives and societies better. We learned a lot of lessons be because of them. The importance of Renaissance in the modern history is it cultivates a new change in art, knowledge, classical philosophy, literature, and art, as well as the new div discoveries in travel, invention, and style. In addition, the important contribution of the Renaissance in the modern world are some of the greatest thinkers, authors, statesmen, scientists, and artists. In human history thrived during this era. While global exploration opened up new lands and culture to European commerce, the Renaissance is credited with bridges the gap between the Middle Ages and modern day civilization. That's all. Thank you.